Hello everybody and welcome back to Mech Commander 2 where I'm just incredibly dissatisfied with how I apparently won that first mission. So I'm going to try this again. We're just going to start this all over again and we're going to skip the cutscene and we're just going to try to get here as quickly as possible and get through this and hopefully get through the second mission in this episode as well. I'm just very very dissatisfied with losing the mission and then moving on because of what at least to me feels like a bug. I want to own up to it. I want to say let's just do this. Check. One, two, check. Yep. This yep. Is tactical officer Diaz. We're just going to go on up here. Right, We're going to blitz right online. through. Bedcom software is pretty reliable, but we need to run some systems checks to make sure we're fully Get on up here. Objective. At the Build a hangar. You should review our objectives. You can access Then the we've got infantry over here. Feel free to just Welcome guard to over here. Five, Commander. I'm Colonel Renard. While here comes the infantry. Steiner, you will be taking your orders from me. The there we go. The get rid of them. They're here to get a glimpse of you. Time to earn your money. There we go. And we kill this patrol now. Kill this centipede. LRMs seem to do a lot of damage in this game as opposed to the previous one. Take out this LRM carrier. At least at this stage of the game, LRMs seem to be effective. There we go. Excellent. Now I've got more jerks up here. Take out this jerk. You guys got this. Now for this one. Flash, go ahead and back off. We don't need you taking that much damage. There we go. Okay, and now let's go ahead and drop our repair truck. We should repair our units before engaging more enemies. There we go. Check your support tab and call in a repair truck. And Remember then go ahead and repair Flash. Our resource points I don't think anyone points, else needs so anything. Excellent. Okay. And let's push on up here. And this time I want to pull the urban mechs out a bit and engage them from range if possible. Objective complete. Okay. Sir, we've got more bandits So let's on go on up this, this way. Forest. We do have Even guys moving in ish. We can still detect them using the sensors on our Razorback scout map. Okay. Pull out guys. We need to get over here. We do run faster than them. Let's go ahead and do... Man, is this laggy over by the forest. Let's go ahead and do a long-range attack on the urban mech. Come on, guys. Eliminate him quick. Or, you know... I mean, that, that was quicker, to be sure. Nope. That's not the button. That's the button. I'll get the hang of that eventually. Probably right around the time the campaign ends. <laughs> okay. That went much, much better. Excellent. Let's just chill here for right now. Man, again, I really need to stop that. Okay. So long shot actually took another hit there. So let's go ahead and repair that up. Yeah, that just went so much better. That feels more like a first mission. <laughs> okay. Let's push up this way. And just get over here. And we'll need to deal with all of this. There is still a bandit over here. I would like to salvage that Star Slayer so I'm not salvaging one of those Urbies. Go ahead and take him out. Okay, there we go. Fantastic. Here's a good opportunity to salvage an enemy mech, Commander. Select the salvage craft from our support tab and target a disabled urban mech. One yeah, I'm not going to do that. Will fly in and take control of it. I would much rather get this Star Slayer than the urban mech. Mech power up detected. Okay, let's go ahead and pull back. Pull our repair truck up here. 
Almost hit F1 there, but I stopped myself just in time. Who do we have coming over here? Okay. Grasses. Take them out. These guys are pretty well equipped for bandits. Fantastic. LRM carrier. Take it out. Long shot. Back off. Okay. Okay, I want you to take out this LRM carrier over here. <laughs> Long shot was taken out there by the Star Slayer. Oh man. Okay. Please stop missing. We really need that guy dead. Okay, come on. We got this. We did lose a bushwhacker, but I think we're fine. Maybe. We've got two mechs pummeling him. Come on. Yeah, there's a knockdown. I think we're good. That significantly cut into his DPS. I really want that Star Slayer. Get over here, repair truck. Okay. Nice work, Commander. That looks like all of them. I've got Colonel Renard standing by on VidCom. Roger that. Salvage craft is on its way. Okay. Ugh. That went better. Not a lot better, but better. <laughs> And we did get ourselves this Star Slayer as well, which is a much better mech than a Nerby. And he did lose a large laser, but that's fine. I think we'll be able to deal with that. Go ahead and repair the Star Slayer. And I think we'll get our Bushwhacker back. We could have resalvaged that, but that I don't think was what we were going for. Okay, let's go ahead and get Hacksaw repaired as well. We might as well utilize all of this truck. There we go. Repair resources depleted. Okay, and let's push on towards the extraction point. Yeah, it definitely seems to be those trees. I wonder if it's the tree shadows that are causing it, now that I think about it. I'm going to do a quick experiment here. Options... Graphics. I believe local shadows are the one. Or maybe high object detail? Not sure. Anyway, this is a game from 2002. I shouldn't have to downrank the graphics. <laughs> that doesn't appear to be it. We could just turn off shadows in general. That doesn't appear to be it either. Okay. Well, that was a pretty much failure. Come on over here, guys. Let's just head on home. Objective complete. Now that feels more like a mission successful. Fantastic. Okay. So let's go ahead and complete this mission. I mean, it auto-completes at this point with the fade out and all. And then the resolution changes, and all of this gloriousness. Fantastic. Successful. Okay. Uh, let's just... Uh, can we skip through this at all? No? Okay. Guess it is what it is. Warrior promoted to regular. So, if missiles are actually that good, we might want to give her a missile specialist. But I think laser specialist is going to be good for now. We'll just keep doing that. We can't do LRM specialist, so. Purple heart, yep, yep. Completely expected. Long shot will get promoted to regular, probably. No, she didn't. Okay. And meat didn't get anything. That's to be expected. Okay, now we'll get this briefing. This is our real mission for, for this episode. Well done, Commander. This is Ambassador Yi, House Steiner's political representative on Carver 5. A pleasure, Commander. You handle yourself well. Remember, you may have no contact with Davian forces. 
You're here to prevent a war, not start one. Carver 5 was once held by House Liao, and there still is a sizable population of Liao loyalists here. You are warned to stay well away from them. We want to know incidents. Let's get on with it. The bandits have taken one of my outposts. I want it back. Your tactical officer will give you the specifics. Recapture the outpost, Commander. I want this over as soon as possible. Okay. So we are recapturing this outpost. Our orders are to handle this quietly, sir. <laughs> I'd be embarrassed if bandits took one of my outposts, too. <clears throat> the bandits seem limited to short and medium range weapons, so remember to bring in some long range mechs. Okay. So we need to capture a resource building and destroy all bandit forces occupying base Gemini. Bandit forces surprised and captured Steiner base Gemini in the Atom Sector, forcing the garrison station there to retreat. Colonel Renard has postponed most of his meetings because of this and has ordered hourly updates on the situation until this base is recaptured. Your orders are to eliminate bandit presence at base Gemini and recapture the headquarters building. Steiner Recon reports bandit composition of urban mech and fire ant battle mechs with significant LRM carrier and hover tank support. Tactical officer notes. Bandits took a Steiner base? I'd hate to be the officer that let that happen. I know urban mechs carry medium range auto cannons, while fire ants are mostly armed with short range flamers. I'd suggest good long range mechs with some short range backup. You don't want to get yourself into a knife fight if all you've got are LRMs. The bandits use a lot of vehicles too, which are slower going uphill, so if you're getting swarmed by a bunch of centipedes, move to the top of a hill and pick them off as they try to come up after you. Okay. This is our mech bay commander. Here you decide which mechs we take on the next mission by placing them on the deployment team. You're only limited by how much team weight we can transport to the deployment zone. Okay, so that bushwhacker that we lost isn't in mech storage. That's interesting. We were unable to salvage it. We could buy ourselves this a new one. This is where you can purchase battle mechs from our current employer. Most houses offer different mechs depending on how much service we've provided. So the longer we've been working with them, the better our choices are. I check back here every few missions to see if we've got something new. Looks like the... this is armor? Yeah, it looks like the armor on a hunchback in, in this game is the same as the armor on a bushwhacker. Bushwhackers are, of course, faster, have a longer range attack. I think we're going to go ahead and buy ourselves a bushwhacker to replace that one that we lost. There we go. Now, we can't actually use the bushwhacker currently. We could bring the, ra the razor back out and put the bushwhacker in. We don't have a pilot in there yet, but we can do that in a moment. So I want to adjust what's on our Star Slayer here. Oh, I see. So this is... This is the mech lab where you can change the weapons and armor on a mech and remove its jump jets. Cash can tell you more. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So... Weapons are my specialty, so let me give you some advice here. Every weapon generates heat, and each mech has only so much heat capacity. So when you're adding those killer guns to a mech, watch your heat capacity. A little tip, adding heat sinks gives you more heat to play with. And remember, armor and machine guns don't use any heat at all. Okay, so it looks like we've got ourselves two sets of constraints here. We need to fit it onto the mech physically with the amount of tiles we have available, and then we've got our heat, so there's no tonnage considerations here at all. That's interesting. So... Hmm... What happens if we ditch the heat, or the jump jets? I mean, we're already basically maxed here, so let's go ahead and keep this the way it is. And let's take a quick look at our bushwhackers here. Mm-hmm. So the damage on these are 3.0 with a rate of fire of 1.1. I don't know what that 1.1 means. Very slow firing rate. Right. Right. PPC does 7 damage. Medium autocannon does 6. PPC generates a lot more heat. Gotcha. Interesting. Well, let's go ahead and deploy this. And we will be bringing... This is your pilot-ready area, sir. Here you'll assign a pilot to each mech we're taking on the next mission. 
Click on the pilots in the available pilots list to view their information. Click on an empty mech in the deployment team to view its info. So I'm just looking for whoever our best shot is <laughs> right now. And it looks like that's probably going to be long shot, yeah? Yeah, long shot's our best shot. So we'll bring her. And uh, we'll, we'll see how this goes. What could go wrong? It's just a mech commander game. We're not going to have any, you know, complete fails on mission one or anything. Couldn't happen. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we need to recapture this base. We've only got three mechs here. We've got a resource our building here. Our first objective here. is to capture that resource building north of our drop zone. We can use the resource points it gives us to call in support pieces. Mm hmm Enemy resources captured. Only mechs can capture enemy buildings, so select only mechs when giving a capture command. Okay. So we need to destroy all bandits at Cape at Base Gemini South, and then destroy all bandit forces occupying Base Gemini. So we didn't bring a mech with sensors, so that's you know excellent. Detected. Oh, we've got ourselves some enemy units over here. We've got a fire ant. Take out that fire ant ASAP. Can we uh can we do it at long range, please? <laughs> there we go. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and take a quick look here. I'm not going to salvage this fire ant, but I am going to call in a repair truck. Just so that we can repair in between these skirmishes. There we go. We didn't take any damage on anything else, so we're just going to push on ahead. We've got ourselves a lookout tower here. Probably should have used energy weapons only there. And we've got ourselves, what, some pop-up turrets here? Yes. The best way to deal with bases is to capture the control buildings inside, such as wrong. turret controls and gate controls. This will force the gates and turrets to work for us instead of the enemy. Yeah. So, um... I, I, I just want to walk in this direction. We do have a, one jump-capable mech in meat. Our Star Slayer. So that's fine. But yeah, I definitely want to get in here and capture this turret control. Because I want a safe-ish place to park our repair truck. So let's go capture this turret control right now. Go on, guys. We are taking some LRM fire. No, capture the turret control. Get in here. There you go. Okay, let's get our repair truck up here. Everyone else, let's take a quick look at where that LRM truck was. We don't actually know. Uh, if we get control of the sensor control here, that'll give us a much bigger advantage. Oh, hey, it's an armored car. Get out of here. Okay. So do we need repairs, really? I mean, not amazingly badly, but we could use some. There we go. And let's come on up here. Oh, we've got some guys coming in from the back here, but our turrets took care of it. Excellent. Okay, let's just get up here. Meat, I want you to jump in. Grab the gate control as soon as you're there. Hey, he landed it and didn't fall down. Excellent. Okay. Let's grab ourselves. Oop, we've got ourselves an LRM carrier right here. We have a mech coming in too. Let's back off a bit. Not quite that far, I think. Take out that Irby. Come on. He's almost down. There he goes. Excellent. And a pair of armored cars. Few more little things around here. Okay. Tack map updated. There, now we have some sensors. Fantastic. Got a centipede up here. Got an Irby coming in. 
Hit him from long range, guys. That's not long range. Come on, guys. Let's get our repair truck moving up this way. There we go. And we'll go ahead and take out this guy. Fantastic. We do have another vehicle over here, a centipede. There we go. This base supports a sensor grid maintained by a sensor control building. It will allow us to detect any enemies within yep. range of these sensors. Way ahead of you there. Nice work in securing this area, Commander. Before we hit the bandits to the north, we might want to scout around for more resource buildings. Yeah, I mean, we might. Do they have any down here? Transformer stations, etc. They don't seem to. What about over here? They do, actually. So let's go ahead and push over this way. Grab ourselves some more resources. We've got some enemies up over here as well. And we've also got this turret control up here. So let's actually go take this first. Get it up here, guys. We need this turret control ASAP. Got it. Fantastic. We'll catch up a bit with our repair truck. And we've got LRM carriers. We'll probably take them out. LRMs do a fair amount of damage, but they are very slow to recycle. There we go. Excellent. Okay, so what else do we got going on here? Oh, there was somebody coming up from behind, but they're dead now. We do have this down here as well that we should definitely go capture. Me, I want you to do that. So then just jump into here. Capture the turret control as soon as you're in. Very nice. Now grab the resource building. Enemy resources captured. Okay. So with those resources captured and with there being multiple resources on the map, I'm thinking maybe we do use a salvage craft on this Irby. We can't get that one? We can get this one though, right? No? Urban mech no pilot. Do we have to be a certain distance? Perhaps? Well, let's take a quick look and see which one is less damaged. Now oh, they're both basically worthless. Okay. <laughs> so there's that. I guess we'll just push on. Come on down this way, guys. Okay, let's see what this guy is, shall we? LRM carrier? Okay. And he is now dead. Excellent. So I don't think we need to capture either of those Irbies, but it seems like we can't capture outside of the mission or something? I don't know. It's a little strange. We're up to 30,000 resources, though. I mean... Was it, wasn't there somebody back here? Fire Ant? Did he lose all of his weapons? No, he didn't. Okay, so can we salvage this guy? Do we have to be close? I don't actually know. Well, let's just push on for now. Go ahead and get long shot repaired. And we're going to need to hit the north up this way. And that's going to be kind of exciting. So let's get our repair truck over here. Everybody else, just push on up here. We've got a lot of enemies up this way. A lot of enemies. Also, the fact that only certain mechs can hold sensors is uh, interesting, shall we say. <laughs> It means that we're definitely going to want some scouts. Hit it from here if you can. Detected. Come on, guys. Ooh. Nice hit. Now that is a salvage opportunity. Can we do this? Yes, we can. Take out this LRM carrier. 
There we go. Now we've got ourselves a partisan over here. We kind of don't want to get too close. So attack from back here. Come on, guys. Okay, finish off that partisan. There we go. LRM carrier now. We do not want to get too close. Okay, back off. Twitch, come on over here. Come on over, Twitch. Oh, you have to jump? Okay. And repairing Twitch is our current top priority, so we're going to go ahead and do that. Uh, Twitch? Why did you jump again? <laughs> that was a little weird. Axok, get over here. We're just going to get everybody repaired up. Tell you what, being able to just call in this repair truck sure is handy. So, how will we best go about capturing this base? Well, turret control is way back there. Hmm, we might be able to jump someone in there. And that someone would probably be best being meat. So go ahead and jump here. And then run over here. Jump over here. Run over here. Jump over here. Run over here. Jump over here. Okay. Otherwise, we're good to go on repairs, yes? Yes. Okay. Mech power up detected. Really? Where? Oh, over here? Okay, meet. Go ahead and take out these harassers. There we go. Now for this one. We do have additional resources over here. So let's go ahead and jump on over here. There we go. Fantastic. And let's come on back over here. We are now back up to 30,000 resources. Okay. Come on over here. Capture that building. I want you guys up here. Ready to go. Okay, come on over here. Jump to here. Capture the turret control. And get out of there. Yeah, get out of there. There you go. Excellent. And in the meantime... Now that these are ours, we can just push in. Uh, ah, my path is I mean, yeah, it's blocked a little bit, but go on and break your way in. They are fighting the turret control currently. That's fine. Go ahead and hit these fire ants. And then meet, I want you to come on in over here. Come on in. Yeah, that's fine. Turrets can be deactivated. Get over here. Get over here. Yep, as soon as these guys are down. There we go. So we just need to capture the Steiner headquarters now, huh? I mean, that's right here. We aren't hugely damaged, but um, one thing we may want to do is spend some of these resources on these fire ants or something. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll bring in the repair truck as well. We still have a lot of resources. Oh, go on and get up here then. Why can't you get there? You can get here, you can get here, and you can get here, yes? So do so. Salvage craft. Here. We still have another 2,000 resources here. It's kind of insane. 
<laughs> Another vehicle coming in over there. Let's get our fire ants down here. This is going to use up all of our repair truck. But I'm not sure if we get automatically repaired at the end of the mission or not. Which is why I'm doing this. I mean, I imagine there's more resources out here. Maybe not. Okay. Good-ish to go. <laughs> okay. Well, we got ourselves a few mechs. Meet. Come on over and capture the HQ. There we go. Okay, so we got, what, 50,000 sea bills? That's fine. Okay. And the janky resolution changes. According to our Whoa. contract, we get first crack at any mechs left on the battlefield after a mission. Okay. It'll cost sea bills to salvage a mech, but that includes all refits and repairs. Not a bad deal, and who knows what kind of stuff we can pick off the enemy. Okay, so it costs sea bills to salvage mechs at the end, but we can salvage them for free with resource points during the mission. Gotcha. Let's just go ahead and salvage all of these. You never know when we'll need them. And now we've got ourselves a very, very slow indeed pilot Men review. Promoted to regular. Okay, Hacksaw is currently a regular. Let's go to a laser specialist, since basically everything uses some form of laser. Longshot still didn't get promoted. Okay, campaign one ribbon for participation. Good job, Psycho. Same with you, Worm. Well done. <laughs> Twitch actually got himself a couple of nice kills there. Okay, well, uh, next episode we will be tackling mission number three, and I believe we're going to immediately start getting a video briefing, so let's, uh, let's not do that. Hang on. We'll get to you in the next episode. See you all then.